1 million dollar fines for pump and dumps. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein or mug of coffee, we're going to have a look at this article from Yahoo Finance which is drawing attention, well, to a social media trend. Uh, Pump and dumps are becoming much more common in, well, the listed stock market and ASIC are going to step up and step in because they're illegal. They're illegal. You see them all the time in crypto because I I think technically you can get away with it because they're, well, unregulated markets. It's the Wild West, and you see it happening all the time where these pump-and-dump groups try and con people. They try and trick you and make you think that you've got the inside scoop. But it's the people managing the the pump-and-dump that are the ones that are conning you. So I don't feel bad for people who are losing money doing this because it's their own stupid greed trying to do something illegal to make money off it. That's really what it is. So, I mean, some people have to learn the hard way. Illegal? So Aussies face a $1 million fine for social media trend. So Australians caught pumping and dumping the share price of listed stocks may face $1 million penalties for rigging the market, the corporate watchdog has warned. The Australian Securities and Investment Commission issued a warning this month saying it had observed a concerning trend of social media posts encouraging Aussies to pump and dump shares. Well, you know, in Australia, you're only allowed to pump and dump houses, not shares. Houses is what's culturally accepted. You know, houses, not shares. This involves a coordinated effort to buy shares in a company inflating the stock price, pumping it before selling the shares, dumping it to take a profit, while other shareholders cop the consequences of the price falls. Well, it's often the ones buying in at those fall, uh, you know, buying in to pump it up. But if they're the insiders in the group, or the insiders, the ones that think they're the insiders, do you blame them? But, I mean, it's just... Well, no, I don't feel sorry for them if they lose their money. But it's the pumpers, the you know, the con artists that are going to scam all the people, and it's going to add all of this uncertainty, the uncertainty to the market that we don't need. ASIC has recently observed blatant attempts to pump share prices using posts on social media to announce a target stock, a designated time to buy, and a target price or percentage gain to be reached before dumping the shares. The corporate watchdog said in a statement. Well, look at. Look at the whole GameStop and all of the other stuff that's happening there too. You know, They try and get out of it by saying, I only really like the share. I love the company, pretending it's not a pump and dump. They do this by using social media and online forums to create a sense of excitement in the stock or spread false news about the company's prospects. Now, I, I remember I bought a crypto and it was all false news. It was just dry, pumping it up, 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 up. And then when the news came out and it was nowhere near what the rumors were being you know, fed, well, it's one way to learn, isn't it? Social media posts may mislead unwitting Australians into thinking this kind of activity is legal, but it isn't, ASIC said. In fact, Aussies taking part in this scheme may end up, taking, uh, may end up being taken advantage of. They may become the victim. Well, they are. Most of the people in the inside or in the Telegram group of the victim. The people behind the campaign may start dumping their shares and taking profits before they reach the target price. I thought that was the entire idea of a pump and dump. You set it up, you get a bunch of suckers in, you get them to inflate the price and you sell your penny stock rubbish to them at an inflated price and walk away. This kind of activity is market manipulation and is against the law. Those caught will face enormous penalties, including jail time. Market manipulation is illegal. It can attract a fine of over $1 million and up to 15 years imprisonment, ASIC stated. And this is why you're seeing so much of it in crypto, because they can get away with it in crypto. They can't get away with it in other markets. ASIC Commissioner Kathy Armour said the watchdog was working closely with market operators to weed out these pump-and-dump campaigns. We will continue to target actions that threaten the integrity of markets and to take enforcement action where appropriate. We expect anyone involved in these campaigns to recognize the potential impact on market integrity and to be aware ASIC monitors all trades on the ASX equity market on a real-time basis. 
so how to recognize pump and dump schemes. Aussies should watch out for investors who signal they intend to buy or sell the same stock at the same time of day. These people may have opened accounts at the same time, been told to do so by the same person, and share the same account contact details or transfer money between themselves, Essex statement said. Australians should know that licensed Australian markets are being monitored by ASIC through real-time surveillance and cross-referencing trade data with third parties, allowing the watchdog to discover networks of connected partners and trading and analyse trading patterns. Australians who catch wind of schemes like this should submit a suspicious activity report, the watchdog said. Any misconduct should also be reported to the watchdog. But see, I mean, this is why... This is why some of the crypto exchanges want regulation. They want to have more regulation, so it'll give them more legitimacy, and it will weed out the pump and dump players and characters in their sector. So what's, well, what's the takeaway or the lesson here, everyone? Now, what I suspect is happening is that you're getting a lot of people first-time trading, a lot of people jumping on social media, and a lot of people not realizing that this is actually illegal, what they're doing. You've got a whole lot of people that have got into crypto, and this happens all the time. You know, people are encouraged to join these type of groups. And it's just dodgy, guys. It's, 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 It's illegal. It shouldn't happen. If you join one of these groups and want to try and make money off other people, you're the sucker. You're the sucker. I don't feel sorry if you lose your money, but you don't want this disruption to the market. You don't want these unusual price increases or decreases. You know. So what do you think, everyone? Do you think that I don't I don't I can't see ASIC actually pulling off finding someone a million bucks? Uh, you know, I, I I can't see that happening. I can see them threatening people. I can see this type of messaging getting out there and waking up people realizing, oh wait a minute, that's illegal. And maybe it just takes a few do- uh, a few idiots to get burned to realize they shouldn't be involved in this type of stuff. What's going to happen is they're going to have to go after the ringleaders and try and stamp them out. They're, they're the ones they're going to have to make an example of, the people organizing and coordinating these type of pump and dumps. Let's hope we see the end of it in our shares, but also in crypto. What do you think, everyone? Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this one in the comments down below. If you're a fan of the channel and enjoy the content and news I find, there's a few ways you can help us out. You can join us on YouTube or Patreon. Sign up for Self Wealth or Stake. Use our affiliate links at Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve, or Aussie Broadband. You can buy our merch from Heiser Says, use Gold Pass from the Perth Mint, or support us via PayPal. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.